Hello good people! We have another exciting Photoshop tutorial for you guys today. As always, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for another Photoshop tutorial, and I finally found one that I thought was good. Um, this is going to be on Neon Text. Um, when I was searching Google for an example or something to go off of, I really couldn't find one that looked exactly like Neon Text. Um, but I took bits and parts and pieces um, from tutorials online, like going through seven pages of Google, taking bits and parts and pieces, putting it all together, and that's what you guys see right now, and now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I already have my background, and I'm just going to briefly tell you guys what I did. So my background layer is just a brick wall, because I love brick walls. Um, then I took the burn tool, um, 200 pixel faded edge burn tool, uh, range of shadows, exposure is 53, and I just went over the entire wall, and that kind of darkened each brick of it. And then I went around with a black brush that was also 200 with faded edges. Um, the mode was normal, opacity was 100, and flow was 100. Um, and just kind of went over until I got this kind of circular oval, sideways oval shape in the middle. And then I took the Apple logo, duplicated that a bunch of times, resized it, um, merged all the letters together, and then lowered the opacity to about 40. And now where I left off, it's time to add the neon text, which is really the meat of this tutorial. So, I'm going to type all this... I'll do my name, Fisher, resize that, and I could go a little more. Ooh, too big, too much. That looks about right. You guys may be wondering why I'm using pink, and it's because pink is a very bright and vibrant color, and that's what you want when dealing with neon colors. So the first thing we're going to do is add a drop shadow. Uh, we do want our blend mode to be multiply, color to black, opacity at 75. We want the angle to be at negative 90, which it's already there. Um, distance, you want that to be 23. Zero for the spread and seven for the size and then zero for the noise. And uh, then we're gonna move on to outer glow. Uh, when dealing with pink, I found that the best color to use was FF029. E, and click OK, uh, blend mode to screen, opacity to 30, yes, uh, noise still at zero, technique softer, spread, we want it 46, 10 for the size, 50 for the range, and then 100 for the jitter. Now we want to go down to bevel and emboss, we want to go with an inner bevel, smooth, for depth, we want 378. Um, direction going down, for size we want 27, and for soften we want 14. Angle can stay at negative 90. Uh, we want 64 for the other two, which is already is. Uh, highlight mode, screen, white, uh, opacity to 64. Um, actually, scratch that, no, opacity to 100, I'm sorry. Uh, shadow mode, multiply, black, opacity to 49. Now we're going to go down to the stroke, uh, size to 3, position inside, blend mode normal, opacity 100, fill type color. And here I don't really have a specific color, um, it kind of depends if I want, you know, kind of a lighter neon text or a darker neon text or something in the middle, something like, like that, that looks good. Click OK, click OK, and there you go guys, that's really it, very plain and simple. Um, remember guys to think vibrant colors, um, when dealing with, you could do green if you wanted to, I chose pink because pink's very vibrant and I thought maybe some of our girl viewers would like to see me using pink. Um, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys, exclusive content, twitter.com slash fisher12. Um, if you missed out on all these numbers and all that, or don't really want to watch the video and go all the way through, I will have a link in the sidebar to my website which will have all the numbers written down. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a comment below, rate five stars, it would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't, and take care.